I'm Megan McDavid. This is Look News On Demand for February 16th. An ongoing investigation into the sale of drugs in Saratoga Springs has landed two more people in handcuffs. Saratoga Springs police say they arrested 33-year-old Godfrey Waldron and 29-year-old Marlon Turner. Both men have been charged with possessing and distributing cocaine, heroin, and various prescription-type medications. The value of those narcotics was be being distributed by Turner and Waldron per week was in the thousands of dollars. Both men are locked up at the Saratoga County Jail. A 17-year-old Saratoga Springs man is facing several drug charges after a traffic stop in the city. 17-year-old Connor Tremblay was pulled over after running a stop sign on Spring Street Sunday night. Police say that when they approached the car, they could smell marijuana and found other drugs inside the vehicle, including mushroom and prescription painkillers. Tremblay is facing six charges, including four drug-related misdemeanors. A 35-year-old man has been arrested after he engaged in sexual contact with an individual less than 13 years of age. Whitehall police arrested Thomas Langlois after an investigation into sex abuse which occurred at a village residence. Police say he engaged in oral sexual contact with a person less than 13 years of age. He has been charged with Felony Criminal Sex Act and is locked up at the Washington County Jail without bail. The Phantoms game Sunday at Springfield had to be suspended after a player on the Falcons collapsed and went into convulsions. Springfield's Wade McLeod collapsed after being hit from behind by Adirondack's Brandon Manning. McLeod was taken to a local hospital and was stable and alert. Game officials and coaching staff both agreed not to resume play after the incident. And finally, it's one of the hottest tickets in town year after year. I'm talking about the annual Rachel Ray Scholarship Benefit at the Lake George High School. The TV show host will return to her alma mater on Friday, April 12th for the 11th annual benefit. The show, which raised thousands of dollars for scholarships and equipment purchases, sells out on an annual basis. Tickets are $25 and they go on sale March 9th. All the details can be found right here on our website. And that's all for this web edition. You can catch us weeknights at 5.36 and 10 p.m. We're on Time Warner Cable Channels 8 and 508.